Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, as you know, we have started our revision series for 2023 board examinations and today we are on part number three. And from this part onwards, we are going to include one program as well along with 10 MCQs and five short question answers, right? So without wasting time, let us start with the first question MCQ based. The statement to create an object of class book is and the four options are given. Children, please pause the video here and find the correct answer. Right. Now you can resume and please check what is the syntax for creation of the object of a class. The syntax says class name and the class name is written here book space object name. Suppose OB is the object name. If it is not mentioned, you can take any object name equals to new and class name. Now please check. Please verify whether this answer is there or not in any of the option. This is not present. So the correct answer will be none of the above. Right children? Now the second question. What is the expected return type based on the following? Class output public static dash calculate int x comma double y. Now here function name is calculate. Before the function name what you have to write the return type. Right? So return what it is returning short x slash y into 2. So what should be the return type short? No. The return type let us first do. x is int type and y is double type. This is int and this is double. Now here short is written. Short what it is doing. This is explicit conversion. But this Conversion is being done to x. x ko convert kar hai short type mein. int ko short mein kar raha hai. So here if you see it will be short slash double and multiplied by 2. 2 is int type definitely and short slash double. The higher data type in this is double. So the return type will be here double not short. Let me tell you here the correct answer is double. But if this conversion is like this, this entire thing is given within the bracket, then the return type will be short. Because abhi kya kar rahe? Ke wale x ko jo int type hai, usko short mein convert kar rahe, pure expression ko nahi kar rahe. Right? So please pay attention. These small, small mistakes you may make during the examination time. So go through the question carefully. Right, children? The next question is, what will be the result of the following expression math.pow in bracket 144 comma 1 by 2 plus math.sqrt of 144. Let us solve this. Math.pow function gives you the power value. So it is 144 to the power 1 by 2. And what it is? This is 1 and 2 both are integers. And in integer division slash sign gives you the quotient part. 1 ko 2 se divide karenge quotient mein kya aega? 0. So 144 to the power 0 plus math dot sqrt of 144. Square root of 144 is 12. And sqrt function gives you the answer in double type. So it will be 12.0. Any number to the power 0 is always 1. So 144 to the power 0 is 1 plus 12.0. So the answer will be 13.0. Right children? Please solve the questions like this and then only select the options. Right? The next one. Cell numbers of a dimensional array are also known as pockets, blocks, subscripts, compartments. All of you know that the correct answer is subscripts. Scripts. Next question. Give the output. Void calc int a int b a equals to a plus b b equals to a minus b a equals to a minus b and print the value of a and b. Now if the values which are passed are a equals to 20 and b equals to 30. These two values are passed. Now let us calculate a equals to a plus b. 20 plus 30 will be 50 b equals to a minus b. Now what is the present value of a? It is 50 minus 30. So the value of b will be 20 and a equals to a minus b. 
A is 50 and B is now 20. So it is 30. So your answer will be A. The value of A is 30 space B. B is 20. So your answer will be 30 space 20. Option A is the correct answer. I hope children these questions you are practicing. You are checking and getting the answer correct. Right? The next question. Predict the output. INT A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And system.out.print math.pow a4. All of you know that the first subscript is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need till 4 only. A4. What is the value of 4? 4? 4 is 5. And what is the value of 2? 2, 2 is 3. So 5 to the power 3. Math.pow gives you the power value. 5, 5 is a 25, 5 is a 125. And math.pow function returns the answer always in double type. So the correct answer is 125.0. I hope it is clear to you. The next question. Give the output of system.out.println math.seal 36.2. Seal. Seal. Sealing fan se pata hai na seal. Seal means usse just upar wala jo integer hai. Lekin answer double type mein aayega. So if you see 36.2. इसके आसपास के दो इंटीजर्स कौन से होंगे 36 होगा और 37 होगा सो so, सील में क्या आएगा उससे जस्ट आगे वाला दैट इज 37 एंड सिंस द रिजल्ट ऑफ सील फंक्शन इज ऑलवेज इन डबल टाइप सो द आंसर विल बी 37.0 एंड दिस इज प्रेजेंट इन आवर लिस्ट आल्सो सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर राइट वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जावा प्रोवाइड्स डिफॉल्ट कंस्ट्रक्टर ट्रू और फॉल्स व्हाट डू यू से इट इज ट्रू राइट right? अगर हम कोई कंस्ट्रक्टर नहीं लिखते हैं प्रोग्राम में एंड व्हेन यू आर क्रिएटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द क्लास ऑटोमेटिकली योर डिफॉल्ट कंस्ट्रक्टर इज कॉल्ड इट इज इनवोक्ड एंड विद व्हिच वैल्यूज विद द डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूज ऑफ द इंस्टेंस वेरिएबल्स राइट चिल्ड्रन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन int a equals to 5 b equals to 10 c equals to 11 double d d equals to a into b plus c slash 2 what value will be stored in d a into b that is 5 multiplied by 10 plus c 11 slash 2 so this is 50 plus 11 slash 2 both are int type so here Slash sign gives you the quotient. So answer will be 55. And since it is D is double type. So the answer will be 55.0. Right children? We move on to the next question. What is wrong in the given code? For int k equals to 2. K less than equals to 2. And k plus plus. The increment should be plus plus k. No. K plus plus or plus plus k both are correct. Right? The loop counter should be i not k. We can use any looping variable name. All of you know that. There should be semicolon at the end of the statement. Do we put semicolon here? Many children put but that is not correct. Right? The commas should be semicolon. Yes. This is the correct answer. So in place of comma here it should be semicolon. Right children, I hope all of you have understood these 10 MCQs. Now we move on to question number 2 and its first part. What is meant by direct initialization of an array? When we directly provide the elements of the array during its declaration or initialization, all the elements you are giving, it is called direct initialization. Example, int square brackets numbers, numbers is the array variable name equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or this can be written like this, int numbers and square brackets equals to the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can write here also. Please note that the square brackets can be given after the data type or after the variable name. Anywhere both are correct. So don't say in any question if you get right the output of the following. Don't tell that this is a syntax error. Right children? Second question, define auto boxing. Auto boxing is the automatic conversion in which Java compiler converts primitive data type into its corresponding wrapper class objects. For example, converting an int to integer double to double. This is data type. int is data type. This 
is integer this is the wrapper class this is the wrapper class right for auto boxing always i tell my children also in school ऑटो बॉक्सिंग को कैसे याद रखोगे ए पी ए स्टैंड फॉर ऑटोमेटिक एंड पी स्टैंड फॉर प्रिमेटिव सो जो ऑटोमेटिक प्रिमेटिव डेटा टाइप को नॉन प्रिमेटिव में क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट में कन्वर्ट करता है वो होता है ऑटो बॉक्सिंग वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन री राइट द फॉलोइंग फॉर लुक यूजिंग वाइल्ड लुक चिल्ड्रेन प्लीज चेक द वीडियो फॉर कन्वर्जन आई एल पुट इन द एंड स्क्रीन ऑफ दिस ऑल्सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स आर देर एंड वन पी डी एफ इज ऑल्सो देर विच यू मस्ट प्रैक्टिस in while loop whenever we do we have to convert uh, for into while then initialization is done before the loop right so int a equals to 10 b equals to 20 is already given this initialization part which is in for that also we have to do before the loop test condition will be with while i less than equals to 10 and then the body of the loop a plus plus is given children here b minus minus is also given but it is not there in the pair of curly braces so if it is not there you assume that this is the body of the loop right so b plus plus should not be within the while loop body that will be after completion of the while and update expression i plus equals to 3 will be given here i plus equals to 3 and you close while block and write b minus minus this is how you convert initialization before the loop test condition with while and update expression within the body of the loop right and if braces are not given here only one statement is in the body of the loop right next question double a equals to 1 2 3.4 5 first part of this is convert it to string data type and for that you will store that in double type and for conversion to string type is string variable name equals to double dot to string and the variable name children please practice this because these most of the time we don't do in programming so i want all of you to practice because this is also very important one question can come from this topic as well right write statement to display the position of the character dot now since we have converted this to string type so we can find the position and for finding the position index of function is used so you will be writing the variable name the string variable name which contains that value dot index of and within single quotes dot or the character for which you want to find the position right children we move on to the next question write the java expression for the following now here this is cube root it is not 3 multiplied by square root and in your syllabus you have the function math dot cbrt cbrt function is there and a cube here to avoid any confusion you can simple write multiplication symbol or if you want you can write math dot pow plus b square b into b multiplied by a multiplied by b so this is your fifth question and i hope these are clear to you children now we move on to our program question and today i have taken the question of function overloading one question definitely will be there from user defined functions maybe for function overloading or maybe without that right uh, the question says define a class with the name perimeter the class name is perimeter so here you have taken perimeter using function overloading children always keep in mind that in function overloading questions specially till main function is not asked you are not going to write the main function right and this is very simple question uh, function overloading because the formulas are also most of the time given perimeter of a square now here nothing is specified what return type what uh, printing so it is totally up to you so like here i have taken int perimeter now children if you notice here class name is also perimeter function name is also perimeter but class name has capital p and function name is all the letters in lower case int is it is receiving one side and calculating the perimeter returning perimeter then double perimeter for rectangle it is taking two double type values length and breadth calculating and returning then third is for circle double radius we are accepting 
and it is calculating radius of a circle and returning that. Children always please note then whenever you are using function overloading the function name remains same and they are differentiated with the means of their parameters or parameters means either the number of parameters or the type of parameters like here one is int and here one is double one one but they are differentiated with the means of int type so children here i have written a variable description table also for your help and if you want you can just take the screenshot pause the video here do this question yourself and practice well and that is what i want from all of you to work hard not much time is left prepare well do well and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing. Keep doing the programs. Keep revising MCQs. God bless you children.